Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a really short video on a new item that Signature Solar is going to be carrying for the EG4 18K PV. So they don't have it listed on their website yet, so as soon as they do, I'll put it in the description below. But it is the cellular dongle. So it comes with, comes standard with the Wi-Fi dongle here, but for people that don't have access to Wi-Fi and don't plan on getting it, this might be a cool option for them. If they want to be able to monitor the unit still remotely or do firmware updates remotely, uh, this comes with five years prepaid service on it already. After that, I think it's only 20 a year. In my area, uh, Verizon's usually the best as far as signal, but it shares towers from what I understand, so uh, I don't think it matters the carrier. And in my shop here, the metal shop, actually service is usually pretty sketchy, but it hasn't had a problem at all since I hooked it up. It's, uh, it's done well, so you can, I've still been monitoring everything. It has not disconnected at all. So I'm actually pretty impressed signal strength wise. I think most people are still going to be using the Wi-Fi version, uh, which is why it's included with it. But I think it's neat that they even offer or are going to be offering the cellular version. So I think that's cool for people that need it. Um, as far as installation, it's pretty much the same as the Wi-Fi version as far as that. I, I just switched the pin over uh, to the cellular one uh, on the option in the menu on the app, uh, and it worked fine. So EG4 has a video how to set this up, the Wi-Fi version up. Again, it applies to that too. So I'll tag that uh, in the video, and I'll put it in the description. Uh, but I'll put a little bit of what I did also in there. And uh, I'll, after this, I'll show what the, uh, the bottom of it looks like, like where you put the SIM card in, and there's a reset button in there too. The reset button, as soon as you plug it in there, you just have to hold that down for three seconds. And that's pretty much it. It's, uh, after that, it, uh, it hooks up the same way as the Wi-Fi version. So the standard Wi-Fi version here, the dongle's on the right. The cellular version is on the left. That's where the SIM card goes, right there. And that's a reset button on the left side. And this cap pops on there. So this is something I haven't seen covered yet. When you're getting ready to register the module, you'll go down and you'll see customer code. And there you're going to put signature, assuming you have purchased the unit from Signature Solar. That is what you're going to put there. It's Signature is the customer code. And then when you get to this point and you're ready to do the login information, you're going to type in that 10.10.10.1 like you see in the EG4 video. And it's going to ask for uh, a username and a password or something like that. But you're going to push admin twice for both of those. Uh, and you're going to be able to find this info out either in the manual or from Signature Solar. But I just figured uh, it would make life a lot easier if I put it in the video here for whoever is going to be uh, logging in with either the Wi-Fi or the cellular dongle. So yeah, uh, not my longest video, right? Super brief, but uh, <laughs> I wanted to uh, I wanted to show that. I think it's a really cool item that might help some people. Uh, and thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate that. I appreciate the comments or most of the comments uh, <laughs> there, you know, sometimes you, you read those grouchy comments or mean comments and they, uh, they get to you a little bit, but I, I thank you very much for the, the nice sentiments and the, and the helpful comments that you guys have. Uh, and as far as future projects, I've actually got some stuff uh, stacked behind the camera there that I'm going to be getting to soon. Uh, it's a very busy time of year for me as far as gardening and uh, fruit trees and, uh, work in general. So I'll get to it soon and I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.